Okay, so we're just working on our front on tackle, uh, getting into a powerful position, long wrap, and then leg drive through and finish on top. Okay, where we go. Weight on toes, good girl. Drive back, well done. Good. Be really dynamic with your arm pull. Yeah, good. Okay, just go just go slow on this one. So you it looked as though you pulled to lift. Yeah. Keep low and pull and then drive. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay, go. Stay low, stay low, and then drive through there. Good. Okay, you'll get so away from all that lift. Just keep your body low, keep through your hips, keep low. Okay, come in. Okay, as ball carriers, uh, did you feel as though you had any power through any of that? No, not really. No. So, as a defender, you can position yourself, you have control of that. Put yourself in the right place, you have control of where you put your body in terms of your weight and your height and then how close you get in and then what you do with your arms. Okay, so you can put yourself in a really powerful position. Okay, just the last thing I want to cover around our side-on tackle and our front-on tackle. Um, we don't always play the people the same size or height as us. And if it's a smaller person against a bigger person, you, you might not always be able to dominate. So what we like to uh, talk about is being effective. Okay, now, if I was half the size of you and I just had to drop you, do you think everything we've worked on in terms of getting in, where we're targeting, um, and what we're doing with our body, do you think you'd still be able to be effective? But in terms of the same focus points, your alignment, where you're looking, um, your foot in, and being able to wrap, it might be a little bit lower, is all the same. What you also have control of is where you finish in terms of being on top, and then being able to get to your feet quickly. If you're going in with a mindset of being passive and unsure, then that's when you're likely to get into a, a, a bad technique or in a poor place or in a dangerous place. So a positive way of looking at it would be thinking of how you can be effective. So yep, the person's another foot taller, uh, another 20 kgs heavier, but you still need to be effective against them. You don't need to be passive. And that's all the skills that we've talked about today in terms of technical skills and tactical that all builds your confidence that you can be effective.